Okay guys, welcome back. So, that was the only daily race that we were going to do today, which was that one in the Lexus on Interlagos. Now we're going to do something special, and if you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to do the Stefan Balloff challenge again, but this time we're going to do it in VR. So let's do it. Jump into VR. Alright, we'll do... Go for VR drive. Pick the Nurburgring. The Norschleifer. We'll do it in the afternoon. And as usual, we pick the Porsche. Manual, yes. Okay, what have we got as my opponent? Uh, Hyundai. Okay. Alright, so for those of you that might not know, the Stefan Bell... The, the, the Stefan Beloff Challenge is pretty much get the Porsche around the Norschleifer in under 6 minutes and 11 seconds. So racing against the Hyundai doesn't matter, just get under that time. Now, balance of performance must be on. Hang on. Oh yeah. Yep, BOP on. Yep, yep, all those are just fine. Okay, I've I never played this game in VR. This is the first time I've done it. I've heard good things. Let's see how it goes. And begin. Hang on, before we start I just want to have a look around. See how far we can look back. Oh, we can look back pretty far. Jeez, the viewing window is very small. Yeah, when I press the brake, he presses the brake. When I press the accelerator, oh, I can even see the belt buckle. That's cool. Dude, I'll tell you what, this is... This looks instantly way better than... Drive Club. Man, this looks really cool. Oh, no, can't stick my head out the window. What's that up there? I don't know. Is that meant to be a sticker right there, the yellow and red thing? You can see it kind of peeling off, and I just went to go try and grab it. Oh, this is awesome. It's a shame that the VR is limited as it is. This looks fantastic. Alright. We've had a good look around. Now let's try it. Remember, 6 minutes and 11 seconds. Look at that, I can even look into the window. Look to the left and see where I'm going. But this is great, just getting the ability to turn your head and look into the corners is freaking fantastic. Oh, here he 
here he comes. Okay, the Hyundai might catch me up here. Oh, this is this is great. Being able to look into corners. But the VR on this is is great. Uh, Matt can't see the Hyundai. take the top because that's what's I think I might have been better if I went on the bottom of the carousel Hitted, but not not nauseous. Close to the end. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's going to be tight. 
11 seconds. No, I'm not going to make it. Well, I'm not going to make it now. Six minutes, 26 seconds. All right, 6.26, jeez. So I'm gonna have to find 13 seconds. Let's go again. Jesus, slowing me down, mate. No, I'm gonna have to do that again. Okay, I need to get in front of the Hyundai and stay there. Okay, that was sloppy. Let's do that again. Okay. That one was kind of dirty. I'm so eager to get past this car. Nice and early.
Okay, we're going to stay down the bottom this time. Oh, that is so cool looking into... Looking into the side when you're going around the carousel. Oh, shoot! Okay, maybe I'll be able to salvage it. Might as well start again. see him. It's so cool. Everything's going by so fast in the rear view mirror. Salvage it.
carousel again. There's a nice consistent speed through there. Alright, this is where I messed up before. Ah, might as well start again. Ah, start again. Okay, here he comes. Oh, too much gust though. Let's go. Let's start again. Good, I'll take it. and get real sloppy. I might have bumped them then. Doesn't matter.
shit. Come on. seconds to reach the end. It's plenty of time. Well, not really. 30 seconds. My top gear. Twenty seconds. Six minutes ten. Oh, with that sloppy ending. But I did it. Got under six minutes eleven seconds. Could have done way better. But there we go. Stefan Beloff challenge re revisited in VR completed. I would love to show off the VR showroom, the only problem is, my controller isn't connected. No, actually, hang on, I'll go get my controller and connect it. Hang on, guys. Okay, so what I just did was disconnect the steering wheel and I replugged in my controller. So let's try out the VR showroom. Let's check out some cars. Let's take a look at the Porsche first. Okay, move camera, camera direction, change lights and go back. Okay. Okay, cool. So right analog stick pretty much snaps it to pretty much 12, like 1 o'clock. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, 
Oh no, can't get too close to the card now. How high up can I stand? Uh, not that high. Very nice looking. No, the game doesn't want you to get too close to the car now. But I can lean way forward. <laughs> to the point where my face is actually touching the steering wheel. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, lights. Uh, I mean, for the front. Oh, that's cool. They're purple. Oh, Jesus. That's bright. Okay, so lows, highs, or is those the highs? Yeah, I think those are standard beams, then those are highs. Ooh, that's bright. Alright, let's check out another car. Uh, let's do the Corvette, the Lightning McQueen Corvette. Yes, I know the controls. I can get a lot closer than I could with a Porsche. See how close I can... Oh yeah, I can get a lot closer on the passenger side. Alright, let's check out the lights. Yeah, yeah, and... Oh no, I thought that the, the ones on the side here would have lit up. Yeah, that doesn't light up much. Green, this is cool. Alright, let's check out another car. Ooh, let's do the F1 car. Oh, I can get right in there. Well, not right in there. <laughs> What's this going to do for lights? Nothing. I can stand up. Oh, I can stand right pretty high up. Oh, that's, that's really cool. You can see right in there.
Damn, is that the fuel tank right there? Oh no. Oh. I don't know what that is. I thought it was a tank. Oh, that's awesome. Alright. Let's do the Lamborghini next. Oh, it's pretty cool how much details you can see in the brakes. How close can I get? Oh, pretty close. See on this like uh, gigantic boob window. Kinda looks like a butt. Oh down there you can is that the fire extinguisher? Pretty cool the detail that's in in these models. I wonder if I can see right into this vent. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just with the radiator. I think it's the radiator. Or the intercooler, whatever you want to call it. Lights. No, can't flash them either. Pretty cool. Alright, one more. Uh, where is it? There it is. Let's check out the Vision GT. up very nicely. I love how you can see the weave of the carbon fiber. The blue carbon fiber. Uh, can you see it? Right there in the center console or the yeah, where, well, where the center is, there's meant to be a plaque there that Kazunori signed. I don't seem to be able to see it. Oh, what way am I going? Those are cool. Those are the handles so you can get the door off in case of an accident. Oh yeah, this car doesn't have rear view mirrors, it's got cameras. Oh, <laughs> bumped heads with my steering wheel again. Oh, that's, that's freaking awesome. The inside's like Tron. It's a beautiful car, this. Shame that there's only one, and that one will always be locked in a garage. It'll probably never go out on the road, never reach its top, even go like 100 kilometers an hour. It'll stay in a garage for its entire life. 
Bit of a shame there. So to recap, uh, the daily race was not so well. Yeah, not so great. It was kind of boring actually. The one race didn't really get anywhere. I lost the position. But the VR in the second in part two, yeah, the VR. Well, like the VR blew me away in this game. For as limited as I heard it was, like, it's really good. Like, it's clear, I don't feel motion sick like I got from Drive Club. Like, like the VR that is here is good. It really is. I, I would suggest that any everyone give it a try. And as for the Stefan Beloff challenge, yeah. Once again, achieved in 6 minutes 10. I definitely could have done better if I didn't crash at the end. And I think I crashed in the middle as well. If I didn't have those muck-ups, I would have saved about 5 seconds. Or more. But anyway. That was a fun challenge. I'll probably visit again in VR. Anyway guys, thank you very much for tuning in. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care guys. Good night.